Thank you, and I thank each and every one of you for showing up in person now or even at the replay of this, for your presence is always in the now. Huh. I ask that you listen with your heart, and if you're here for another, for you to open your heart and receptively say, I am here for this person as well. And it's in your yes that you're agreeing that you are open and receptive to this energy work. I ask that you either sit or lay down for this, it's best that you're not driving or using any form of machinery. Just have to say that as a disclaimer. And when we're gonna first do a full body healing and then we'll go from there to doing a world healing. And when we go to the world healing, I'll just ask that you hold your hands up and envision a globe in front of you. Your eyes will be closed, but just to see the world in front of you. And that way that energy can permeate through your body temple to the planet Earth and to all its recipients. And I'll be guiding you through that as well. So mm, let me ask that you just allow your eyes to close. And I create a healing capsule of divine light and divine love. And I activate that capsule by calling in all the saints, the angels, the ascended masters, the guides, the guardians, the teachers, the protectors, Merlin, your ancestors from the highest realm. We call in Blessed Buddha, Jesus to Christ, and Blessed Mother Mary, all to come forth, and we call forth your highest frequency to assist us in this healing. I ask the healers from Liberate to turn on and activate your healing energy, to permeate through the people who are listening to this now and in the later of now. I ask us all to breathe in to the count of four, Hold to the count of four and exhale to the count of eight. Breathe in love to the count of four, holding that love to the count of four and exhaling it to the count of eight. Breathing in peace to the count of four holding that peace to the count of four and exhaling it to the count of eight. And just allow yourself to breathe normally and naturally, knowing that with each breath that you're taking, you're going into a deeper state of consciousness, a deeper state of knowingness, a deeper space of the divine. And as with that, I just drop a thousand orbs on you right now. Just clearing out all the fear, doubt, worry, negativity, shame, guilt, lack, limitation, expectation. All self-imposed hexes, curses, contracts, agreements, oaths, and vows. Just anything blocking you from your highest good, we just ground it all down into Mother Earth. And just return it all back to source. I call in my healing team. I call in 16 healing teams for each individual that is listening to this call right here and right now clearing away to rejuvenate your cells, reactivate your DNA and revitalize your vital organs. We move through your body temple. Mm. Moving through your vital organs, moving through your liver, your kidneys, pancreas. Moving through the stomach, the large and small intestine. Moving through your digestive system. Mm. Mm. Moving through your esophagus. Moving through your heart. Clearing your arteries. I call in my heart team just to remove all the heart walls, enabling them to love more, to receive more, and to be a stronger vessel of love. We clear from those vital organs that I have named all the anger, all the shame, all the guilt. We clear away all past programming, stagnant energies, 
and we infuse them with healing light, healing love, replenishing them. Anything that is blocking them from being in the power of renewal, let's clear that. We're clearing out the legs, the feet. The pelvic, the, the mm, your sexual organs, we, we clear them, we heal them. Removing all tumors, all infections, all scar tissues. As we move through the body. Mm. Lymph nodes, yes. We clear your arms, your hands, your fingers your armpits, your colon, your rectum, your shoulders, your spine, your upper, middle, and lower back. And I just channel divine energy moving through there, clearing out anything and everything, mm, less than God, less than love, less than light, healing and replenishing it back to normal, reality reset. Clearing out your jaw, your teeth, your mouth, your lymph nodes. I said that. Mm, your neck, your head, your brain, your upper and lower to the left and to the right of that brain, the, the pineal gland. I ask these healing teams to move through each and every individual here, each and every area. Removing all cysts, all tumors, all infections, all scar tissues, all objects, all cancerous seeds and thought forms, anything less than God, less than love, less than light. Stand in it, dissolving it and shattering it into unconditional love. Returning it back to its divine mm, present and returning the dis-ease back to source. I call in the chakra team, moving through their 15 major chakras, front, back, upper and lower. Moving through that root chakra, mm. clearing out all past memories, stagnant beliefs from this lifetime or past lifetime, crossing all time, space and dimension. Clearing out the sacral chakra, healing the wounds from past relationships, revitalizing the passion for life, mm. healing all things from this lifetime and past lifetimes, crossing all time, space, and dimension. Moving on into the Kundalini chakra. Clearing out those tubes mm -hmm, and beliefs that are blocking that connection to the divine. And to your personal power. Clearing out everything from this lifetime and past lifetime, crossing all time, space and dimension. Going into that heart chakra. Mm. Healing the holes, the wounds, clearing the arteries, all the painful memories that are large death, all the blocks from this lifetime and past lifetime, crossing all time, space, and dimension. Mm. Clearing out the throat chakra. Mm. Clearing out mm, the blockages to you speaking your ultimate and divine truth. 
clearing that space, yes. Clearing out your third eye chakra. Opening up your intuitive sight. See that which your guides have been showing you. Clear the passageway. Clear the fear. Clearing out your crown chakra. Hmm. Clearing out that connection between you and the infinite. Clearing and anchoring that divine connection. Expanding it to levels. Ah, that is so beautiful. So beautiful that you've yet to see. I call in my fairy team, we keep releasing all cords, releasing all cords that are blocking you from your highest good, releasing all cords that are blocking you, mm, blocking you by fear, doubt, worry, negativity, shame, guilt, lack, limitation, expectation, shame, guilt, betrayal, neglect, abandonment, betrayal, clearing all these cords from their roots, sending them back to source. Release all cords that are blocking you in your relationships, love relationships, family relationships, friend relationships, your relationship with yourself. Releasing cords from people and situations that we have been holding on to that no longer serve you. Be willing to say, yes, I am willing to let that go. Free yourself and free them. Let us now release those cords from their roots and send them back to source. Releasing all cords that are blocking you in your career. From this lifetime and past lifetime, crossing all time, space, and dimension, we release these cords from their roots and take them back to source. Releasing all cords that are blocking you in your finances. From this lifetime or past lifetime, crossing all time, space, and dimension, we release them from their roots. Take them back to source. We release all cords blocking you in health and wholeness. From this lifetime or past lifetime, crossing all time, space, and dimension, we release them from their roots and take them back to source. We release all cords blocking you in your spiritual growth and unfoldment. From this lifetime and past lifetime, crossing all time, space, and dimension, we release them from their roots and take them back to source. We release all cords blocking us known and unknown that are keeping us from our highest good. We freely say yes. We release them. Mm. Blessed Mother Mary, I just ask that you flow your golden pink light from the top of their heads down through the tips of their toes. Just clearing out mm, anything less than God, less than love, less than light. Releasing all this residual energy, all the residual blockages. And replenish them with your love, your compassion, your strength, your wisdom. Mm. Dirty, I call in your warrior teams right now, releasing all ETs and entities from their body temples. Mm. Releasing all hooks and chains, contracts, agreements, oaths and vows that they have been carrying with them in this lifetime or past lifetime, crossing all time, space and dimension. I call in the angelic teams to come in and remove them. We clear out all portals with angelic light and seal them with angelic cement. I 
just release them from their skin now and allow them to step into the power and the greatness of who they were when they first arrived on this planet, standing into that powerful being that they are. We revitalize their spirit. I call your soul back to you. I call your soul back to you from the many dimensions and the many places it's been. I call your soul back to you healthy, whole, vibrant, and full. I call your soul back to you now. And I surround you and I call in your soul team, the angels, the saints, the ascended masters, the guides, the teachers, the angels, the ancestors, everyone who knew you before you had face. We call them to surround you now, to remind you that you are here by the collective power of the entire universe. You are not alone. There's indeed a power beyond you that can handle all things beyond you and it is working for your highest good. Remember to remember who you are. Remember to remember who sent you. Remember to remember you're a vessel of love. Remember. And as they surround you, replenishing you with the love, the joy, the peace, the health, the wholeness, the intelligence, intelligence the creativity, the beauty, the tenacity, the technology, the passion, and the patience, oh, the artistry and the abundance, the confidence and the courage the self-esteem, the self-worth, the fulfillment, the fun, the relaxation, the recognition, as they fill you with all of your spiritual gifts. We raise your frequency. We raise your frequency to meet the good that is here for you. We raise your frequency for health, for wholeness, for abundance. We raise your frequency. Oh, way beyond what you may think is comfortable. We raise your frequency to be whole. And I call in activations. Activations for health and wholeness from the galactic field of Orion. I call in activations for each and every individual here. Healing. Fill your body temples here and now, aligning you with your truth. Allowing you to recognize your own inner greatness, your own spiritual worth, your own spiritual power. As we channel through your body temple, Hmm. And for those you love, we have not forgotten them. We are healing them too. as this energy penetrates through your body temple. Mm, know that it is just enriching your spirit, enriching your soul. As we prepare to give healing to our planet, to our world. I ask that you raise your hands to your chest level and in your mind's eye inward, envision our planet.
radiating the light of love. As it radiates from your hand, see love. Hmm. With rays of pink going to our planet, engulfing it in that light. Rays of green for healing. Orange for compassion. Blue for peace. You may even see these lights moving through communities, touching and affecting individuals. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of every person Every being, let love descend on earth. Let this love, this healing, this light affect those affected or infected by this virus. May they be filled with miraculous, soothing, healing energies. See this light moving through the hospitals, encampments, homes. It says rays of light permeating body temples, moving through friends and families, all those affected. bringing in calmness and peace and healing and the assurance that all is well. From the center that we call the human race, let the plan of love and light work out for its highest good. May fear and worry and negative consciousness, blame and feelings of unworthiness, disease and viruses be completely disintegrated by this healing light, dissolving into nothingness, returning back to source. May peace be restored in the bodies and minds and the sentiments of those across our entire planet. May courage and strength be embodied in each and every individual. Let us see in the minds of our government officials, right-mindedness, compassion, inner and outer love, inner and outer love for themselves and for the planet. May their minds be purified by the light of the Most High. May they stand in truth and act from a point of righteousness. Let light and love and spiritual power manifest itself on our planet Earth. Let light and love and spiritual power manifest itself on our planet Earth. Let light and love and spiritual power manifest itself on planet Earth. Let's envision the other side of all of this. When all is healthy, all is whole, all is joyous. In your mind's eye, see the other side of all of this. 
But when we see it, it begins to materialize. And if we see it collectively, we have the power to bring it about. Let us see it collectively. Joy, balance, abundance, health and wholeness, compassion, peace, inner and outer peace, unconditional love. Working things out, right-mindedness, compassion, joy, See yourself and those you love in a good state of consciousness. See your body healed, whole, perfect and divine. And see that energy from you expanding Feeling the city you live in, the state you live in, the country you live in, the continent you live in, the planet you live on. Knowing that each and every one of us has the power to bring about the healing and the magnitude of that which is required for this planet to heal. We give thanks for this power, this presence, this knowingness. We give thanks for our guides, our teachers, our angels, our ancestors. All of whom work with us, through us, for us, and about us, known and unknown. They are with us always. We give thanks. We give thanks for our planetary healing. knowing that this energy is continuous. And will continue to work, continue to flow, continue to be. We give thanks. We give thanks for our bodies healing and for the bodies of those whom we love and know. And even those who are unknown for their healing as well. We give thanks for their healing. We give thanks mm. as we raise the frequency of our planet. We give thanks. We give thanks for the health and wholeness of our planet. We give thanks. We give charge over our angels to continue this work. As we breathe in to the count of four, holding to the count of four and exhaling to the count of eight. As we breathe in love to the count of four, holding that love to the count of four, exhaling that love to our planet, the count of eight. Breathing in health to the count of four, holding that health to the count of four, exhaling that health to our planet, Breathing in peace to the count of four. Holding that peace to the count of four and exhaling it to our planet, the count of eight. And in that next breath, taking in the love and the light of the most high, and just allowing as you exhale for it to flow over you, anchoring you right where you are, right here, right now, anchored in divine consciousness, returning to present state. And you may open your eyes when you are ready. Thank you.
choose, you may stay in the meditative state. The world that we're in right now needs your love more than it needs your fear. Be in love. Radiate love. Be love. Amen. I am Reverend Doreen, and here at Liberate Emporium, I do many things. I'm one of the readers, Akashic Record readers, as well as Tarot reader, as well as a clairvoyant reader. I do energy work, and I work with legions of angels, not just one or two. I was initiated, and I work with these teams that help move through you, removing everything from blocks that are keeping you from being successful in your life, to entities, ETs, cutting cords, realigning your chakras, you name it, we do it. <laughs> the angels do it. I also do soul processing, which is a wonderful process to help re-energize you from the womb to 50 years into your future, reprogramming you. So therefore, traumatic things no longer have power over you. You know what I mean? So we're helping you to be a better you. I also do access bars, which is working with points in your head that also help shift the energy in your body. And I do pranic healing, which is energy. I'm a Reiki master, more energy. So what am I? I am a channel for energy to come through me to help you. I also do spiritual life coaching. And that in a sense is not just regular coaching, it's coaching with insight. We can see what is working, what needs to work, what needs to happen in order for things to work? Or maybe you shouldn't be doing this at all. So it's really, again, about having the opportunity to take that which you want to do to the next level, looking at the intention behind it, looking at really what the higher goal is, what is the highest good for your life right now. It's really taking that all in. And I like to code it all with a little bit of humor. Did I forget anything? Mm, I do so much. I do Akashic Records too. Your records are always open when you're dealing with me. So your higher good, your master teachers and loved ones are always present. And that's the joy. That's the joy of working with me. <laughs> Thank you. And I wish you love, peace, and higher consciousness. <laughs>